4.29 in the morning and we are headed to the airport. Woo woo woo! Yeah, mom's the chauffeur. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to go pick up grandpa and then we're headed to the airport here in Idaho Falls and then we're headed off to Alaska. Woo! Alaska adventure begin. Yes! Well, that does say departures, but you can't see it. All right, we made it through all the checks, the whatever you call it, the TSA, and my dad, I guess, had the wrong ticket. He accidentally printed the tickets of my uncle for some reason, so that's really awkward. And so I went through first, and now I'm waiting for them. But we're here in Idaho Falls, getting ready to go on our first flight. in Salt Lake City and we had some ticket crazy ticket things somehow my dad got my uncle tickets who leaving who's leaving later today at from Idaho Falls so we had to go back and get that and then we realized that my ticket from Salt Lake to Seattle is a different flight from everybody else so we gotta go figure that out so crazy ticket <clears throat> but I think we got it all figured out now we're here in Salt Lake we gotta wait about two hours and I'm gonna get on a plane to Seattle and that's where we will meet up with all my Uncles and cousins, so we're super excited. Now it's just a waiting game. We just boarded. I feel like we've been waiting around forever. It's about 10 o'clock and it's about a two hour flight. So here we go. What are you thinking so far? Oh. It's awesome. It's awesome. A lot of waiting around. A lot of waiting. Yeah, I got the same waiting around before. It's all a means to an end. Isn't that Seattle. The flight was good, not too rough, a little rough, but not too rough. So now we got quite a quite a bit of layover. We're gonna meet up with my uncles here in this airport. We're gonna have some lunch. We're just chugging along. We're having dinner. Right here. What's up? What's up? Jaden, Grandpa, Jim, what's up? We're eating this place called Africa, Africa Safari. Safari something. Anyway, but pretty cool. Dad had Chinese. And Dad had Chinese food. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. We're on our last flight. We're finally going to make it to Anchorage. We'll be there in about two hours. I'm super excited. We've been traveling out all day. And I'm excited to see Alaska.
right, three hours later, we have finally made it to Alaska. Yeah, it was, ooh, it's about time. Huh? I know, it was a long It was a long flight. It was a bit of a long flight, but it was smooth. It was good. Holy moly, we're gonna crash. Right, so we, we just watched it. some movies, sat back. It's a little rainy here, just a little bit colder. Yeah. But it was good. It's we're excited. I didn't get any takeoff from uh, Seattle because I wasn't sitting by the window, but then Grandpa helped us get some footage on the way in. That ought to be interesting. <laughs> oh, there's a sperm whale right there. Oh, they're mating. <laughs> it's funny. All right. I'm excited to go see what this place looks like. All right, everybody. We have made it to Alaska. Right now, we're getting a rental car, so we're just waiting for that. Then it sounds like we're gonna head to a hotel, and I think we're just gonna hang out, wait till my other uncle gets here with my cousins, and then spend the night, and then the party begins. I haven't been outside yet. It looks kind of rainy, but I mean, there's lots of trees, and it is awesome. What's up, guys? It is day two on our Alaska adventure. Where are we going today? Day two. We're going to take a glacier cruise. Glacier cruise. Yes. I'm super excited. So we're on Whittier, so hopefully it'll be good. It's supposed to get there noon and get done by five and have a, maybe a hot dog in the boat. Something mm -hmm. that good time, so. I'm excited. It's yeah. a little rainy, a little cold, but I mean, what can you expect? We're in Alaska. Alaska. Can you see out there? Yeah, it's a little wet. Look at those trees. It's about an hour and a half drive. I'll record some of the trip to see what Alaska looks like. And let's go see some glaciers. What's up guys? We made it, about an hour and a half drive. And I think this is the cruise ship we are getting on to go to our glacier tour. And look at this water. I don't know why it's like so light blue. It looks awesome. I'm kind of hoping maybe we see some animal life, like whales or dolphins or something, but I'm super excited. I mean, it is a little rainy, but luckily it's not windy. If it was windy, it would suck. It's just a light little pour. But the drive was amazing. Looking at all the mountains and the clouds. Like, look at all those trees and how the clouds just go over them. This is a beautiful state for sure. I'm super excited. And let's go see what we can find. We're doing a no shave contest. Not really a concept. contest. We just made a pact as a family that we're just not gonna shave. So maybe I'll do like an, a daily shave update. Mm, look at that, it's coming good. This is one day. 
I don't really got any side action, but I got the goatee going on for sure. Yeah. That's cheating because he's had a goatee for the last 15 years. It's a man right here. We're gonna get some half pound Alaskan reindeer dog. What's a reindeer dog? Oh, <laughs> they use them to herd the reindeer. And so there that's, that's you gross. go. You're eating the piece of dog. A reindeer dog. Jason reindeer. I did say I do want to try some sort of weird exotic meat, like a moose or a buffalo or a caribou. And right now we got reindeer dog. Reindeer dog. <laughs> Crazy. Just finished with the glacier tour and it has been awesome. 100% recommend. If we were headed home tomorrow, I'd still be satisfied because it was awesome. We saw so many animals. We saw orcas, we saw sea lions, we saw otters, we saw glaciers. It's been awesome. What's up guys, it is the morning of day three and today's just gonna be kind of a travel day. Um, it's raining, a little more raining than it was yesterday and the day before, but that's okay because we're going to be traveling about two or three hours in some direction um, and this is going to be the place where we're going to go fishing. So I've been looking at the weather at that place and it's been pretty sunny lately, so hopefully we'll get some clear si skies and hopefully one night see the northern lights. That would be super cool. But right now we're headed to Walmart to get some things. Everybody else is getting ready and then we'll head out to Soldanta, right? That's right. Soldanta, Alaska. All right, we're about an hour and a half in our excursion to Soldanta. And look at our road. Truly Alaskan road. Yeah, there's no road. It's just dirt, mud. Flying everywhere. It's a good thing. Sure are, are sure is a beautiful view though. There's a lot of rain, a lot of rain in Alaska. A lot of rain. Supposedly we're in a rainforest. But it's beautiful. Yeah. All right guys, we've been driving for a while and just trees everywhere. We stopped here at a gas station to go to the bathroom. How long do we have left? Uh, an hour. An hour left. Another hour. And it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. It's finally stopped raining. I mean, it's still really overcast. It's not too cold, just a little chilly. Honestly, I would 
Oh, I must rather have this weather than super hot all day. So we're super excited. We're hoping we make it there a good time. So maybe we'll just catch in a little fishing tonight, which wasn't planned in the beginning, but if we're right by a river, we got some time, why not, right? We're in Alaska. So then tomorrow, we're doing some salmon fishing. The next day, some halibut fishing. And then sadly, we gotta go home. But I'm having a great time. <laughs> oh yeah, baby, I just caught this guy. Look yeah. at this. This is Jaden's fish. No, not really. It's actually not mine, but this is what we're trying to catch yeah, out we here. Just got here. What what is this called? This is it's called flossing. It's just you know, flossing for fish. <laughs> There's no bait on the hook, actually. So. Yeah. So they literally just fling it out there and hope for the best, I guess. Yeah, hope to snag something. Yep. Hmm. Let's do some flossing. I'm gonna come up here behind you. How you doing over here? Uh, caught two in the tail. That's about it. So what we're doing here is flossing. Flossing the fish. So there's no there's no bait or anything. Right now the salmon are flowing with their mouths open. Why does and he come out and do it three times and catch a fish? <laughs> Everybody, I caught a fish. We didn't get it on camera, but I caught a fish. He's got a couple, but hasn't brought it in because it's caught in the tail. Because what you're doing is you're swinging the hook through the water, just trying to snag That's it. That's all you're doing. Yeah. Throw it and so I caught a sockeye Throw salmon. Down. He's got a couple on tail. He's about ready to bring one in, and it's been pretty fun. I'll bring one in here. How did you do it? Wait. Yeah, I think you got the technique. I didn't get a picture of my fish, but it's okay. It was a pretty big fish, I thought. Probably the biggest fish I've ever caught. Okay, this is Jason flossing. It's the master flosser. Wow, he also catches trees like no other person. He's really whapping that down. Oh, I see. You're whapping that into the water pretty good. See, you just kind of flap it in the water. You just slap this big old sinker and hook in the water and make a circle out of it. Someone caught one down here. Did Dad catch that? Yeah, he jumped a while. Don't hit me. Oh. Don't whack me. Did you grab a kiss that one? I think so. Oh, you got him in the tail. Yeah, I know. What is it? This is a pink salmon? Yeah. These are the, you see all the pictures in the airport of the humpies? Yeah. That's the humpies. It's a pretty good sized fish right there. Yeah. Be free. Mosey on over. Normal kind of fishing of these two. <laughs> Snagging without bait. Here you go, Jim. I thought those were rainbows. Now you're caught on the other line. <laughs> Woo! Nice snag. That might be a silver, actually, or is it a pink? I don't know how to tell them apart. It is morning of day three, Wednesday, or maybe it's day four. I don't remember, but it's Wednesday, and it's about six o'clock in the morning right now. We're headed out to the river to start our day of salmon fishing. I'm super excited. I hope it kind of clears up, so it's not super super rainy, but it's gonna be awesome. They say that if you wanted to, you could 
um, finish fishing by seven o'clock. <laughs> but we'll have to see. Um, I'm super excited, and here we go. What's up, guys? We're headed down to the river. I got my new hat boots on. Um, I switched to my phone because, oh my gosh, it is wet and it's supposed to be pretty wet all day. It sounds like we're going to be doing a lot of different things today. All right, I'm back. Had issues with some boots, but like I was saying, we're going to do some fun things. We're going to be on the boat, off the boat, on the shore, trolling, and hopefully we can catch some fish pretty fast. Oh, I do hope it clears up just a little bit more. So I don't want people just to be soaking, sopping wet, and wishing they weren't there, but I mean, we're in Alaska. I mean, look at this. I'm just trudging through the forest in Alaska. I might get eaten by a freaking bear. That would suck, but at least I'd get on camera. And maybe my wife would go famous on YouTube. But I doubt that's gonna happen. Um, my bet is I'm gonna catch the biggest fish today. So I'm thinking. And all right, well, let's do it to it. Fishing in Alaska is a lot different than fishing in Idaho. In Alaska, every five casts, you probably bring in a fish. If you look in the river, those little splash, some are just from the little white caps from the river, but others are from the slapping fish in, in these rivers. They're so thick with fish that you can just see them everywhere. The problem is, is you're only looking for specific fish. Where we were fishing, there was a, lo um, a lot of pink salmon, some sockeye salmon, and some silver salmon. The gold treasure or I should say the silver treasure, is the silver salmon. That's what you're fishing for. If you get some sockeyes, awesome, great. But the pink salmon is what you have to filter through. There are millions and billions of these pink salmon with sockeye and silver running through them. So as I cast out and reel back in, every five casts, I'm probably bringing in a pink. But then every once in a while, you snag that perfect silver. So that's why it's so much different than here in Idaho. When you catch a trout from the river, it's awesome no matter what it is. I wish I had gotten a lot more accent shots of us reeling in those fish. The problem is, is you would catch so many fish that you'd just never know which was the right one. Um, but it, almost everybody got their silvers this day, and it was definitely a day to remember. Okay guys, video update. Um, there's a couple of us that have caught their limit, me being one of them. That's why I'm so happy. I caught my two silvers. My uncle has already got two silvers and then my other uncle, Jim, he has got his three sockeye. So there's a couple of us that are still trying to snag him out of the river. It's about this year time. Nine, or it's about 10 o'clock. So about <clears throat> three and a half hours. Crap, I haven't got shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's still working on it's just so hard because it's a lot different fishing than in idaho because this this river is filled with salmon you can see them all over but it's filled with like a, a crap salmon to be honest they call it a, a pink salmon and it's really ugly looking and i guess the meat is just terrible i mean you can smoke it i mean but they they give it to dogs dog food that's what these pink salmon are so what happens is the good salmon just gets mingled up with all these pink salmon and so you're literally taking your, your hook and you're bouncing it off the all the back of the bad salmon and then the good salmon snip it so like almost every five casts you pull in one of these bad salmons you hook it in the back of the tail or the mouth but you're really trying to get the snags where the big salmon come and grab it so it's definitely a lot different than in, in Idaho when you snag a trout. I mean, it's a lot different game, but it's really fun. And it's finally lit, lightened up a little bit. It's not raining so much. And so we're having a good time. Hey, wait, sit, JC. JC, come record this for me so I can see. See how you play a fish? There you go. Oh, sorry. 
a fillet of oh, fish. Let's show it so you can see how this is done. Show him, do him. I want to see how it, how he does it. Here. Okay, so this just came out of the water about three minutes ago, and Logan pulled this big, beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna fillet it real fast. This is what they taught us how to do. Of the egg sac. We're gonna give back to the river. Oh, I forgot the one step. It's bloody because I forgot to bleed it in the gills. But since we're flaying it right off the bat, we'll just let it go, drain the blood. Okay, so right behind the, right behind the fin, cut on an angle down, cut down to the spine, and then just start working all the way back. There's one fillet. That over here in the sink. I'll wash it off in a minute. Take the other one right behind the gill. And then I just keep the blade a little bit angled downward so it skirts the spine. There's the other fillet. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Let me take the carcass back to the ocean. Bring this over here. Let's put it trimmed up that fin a little better. But they take and do the rest of this at the uh, at the processing plant. I'm just trying to cut the fin off. Put it over here. Get her hose. Take that to the processor. Yep, keep it tight, keep it tight. There we go. We'll have some of you come onto this side so John doesn't get all wet when he goes from deck. Don't grab it. Is that hard, James? Keep it up, keep it up. You want your long gaff, John? Uh, long gaff and the hard fence. Yep. Got it. What you do, just hit a hard, James? What kind of bounce the bounce in the hole? Nice. Look at that. Holy crap, Jamie. Nope. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> Drunk, Jaden, are your arms burning? <laughs> Keep pulling.
Keep pulling. Your hand getting a little weak, son? Yeah, you be the man. Come on. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Get it. Get him over here. Get him over here. And there we go. Woo! All right. Take care of that. So maybe we'll see the northern lights. That would be really cool. But um, we're about ready to head out to go to Anchorage. Holy crap, guys! We are all so tired and dead. It is five o'clock in the morning now. We drove forever, a ton of road construction, but we finally made it through all the check-ins. We got our boxes put in. I forgot to take a video of the boxes. All the boxes of fish. We got about 30 to 40 pounds each, and now we're just waiting for the first plane. First plane to Seattle. Everybody's all tired, getting kind of irritated, but what can you do, you know? But we're finally heading home, and we'll see how this flight goes. Guys, as you can see, I made it home safe. I got kind of lazy at the end making the videos, but we made it home safe. I was so sad to leave, but it was such a great time. I will always remember it, spending time with my dad and grandpa and my uncles. Um, we will definitely have to go back. And now we got a freezer full, freezer full of fish and we'll be snacking on it for a while. Um, but definitely a trip to remember. Mm -hmm. 